All right, so in this video, I wanted to cover a major question that I get a lot. And that question is, well, how do I improve my aim? How do I aim better? And uh, a common answer that, that a lot of people in the Fortnite community will give is, you know, download Kovacs FPS Aim Trainer or just play the game a lot and practice. And while that's true, not many people elaborate on what they're thinking about or what their mindset is going into that practice regimen. So that's exactly what I'm going to make this video about. I'm not going to tell you what my practice regimen in or, or how many hours you should put in a week or, you know, play this amount of Fortnite every day and you'll get better. No, I'm going to go over what my mindset is and what I'm thinking about when I'm trying to improve my aim. And hopefully that'll help you too. So stay tuned. And hop in game to into Kovacs FPS aim trainer and uh, I'm in a mode called ascended tracking and what this mode helps simulate is opponents moving left to right and jumping in the middle of their movement pattern so I just want to go over tip number one is literally just is I'm not even gonna move my crosshair I'm just looking at how my opponent is moving and in this case it's just a red cylinder but this is very important like it, it might seem stupid that I'm even acknowledging this, but it's very important that you focus on how your opponent is moving. Like, is he, he's moving left now, he's moving right, he jumped, and it's just that mental note of actually focusing on how he's moving. A lot of players, whenever they're aiming at someone, they're not even paying attention to how they're moving. So the, the, they'll just flick to the target, start shooting, and then your opponent moves left, and all of a sudden your crosser is not on the enemy, and you're not even, you know, you're not paying attention. All right, so I just want to apply that mental note now, whatever I aim, just keep in mind where my opponent is moving so I can instantly adjust my crosshair with it. I'm just going to flick to the target, it's moving right, he just changed direction left. Right, left, left, right, left, right, jump, left, right, right, left, right, jump, left, standing still, left, right, left, jump, right. Left, right, left, right, left. And I mean, you get the point, right? Like, because I'm, a, I'm keeping note of where my opponent is moving, I can instantly react and change how I'm moving my crosshair to counteract that. It's that simple. All right, so something I forgot to mention in the original recording of this is why tip number one is so important. Is because I feel like a lot of players have this issue where they enter this kind of autopilot mode. It's especially apparent in a lot of players where their mentality is, oh, you know, it's grind time. I'm going to put a bunch of hours into Fortnite. I'm going to put so many hours in. I'm going to grind the game. But when they're when they're playing so many hours of Fortnite and then, and then they're not paying attention to what they're doing, they're entering this autopilot mode. Even though you're putting so many hours into the game, you're not learning anything because you, you don't have that mental note in your head that's telling you okay in this case with aiming okay exit the autopilot mode it's time to improve it's time to focus focus on his movement focus on on things you want to improve you know it's not, it's not just aiming it's just having that mindset that's why it's so important to keep that in mind all right so this kind of brings me to another thing i want to talk about that kind of relates to tip number one is i feel like every player should learn how to have good projectile aim and i know a lot of players that came from like overwatch that knew how to play Farah or like genji where there's a lot of projectile aim involved or like tf2 if you played a lot of soldier or even just like PUBG, where you you have to lead your shots a little bit and i feel like it's very important because in those games you need to focus on how your opponent is moving a lot and make conscious notes of what they're doing especially with these in in this mode in particular in kovacs fps aim trainer called a midair mix if you want to play this mode like this rocket has a long travel time. It moves fairly slowly. So you really need to predict where your enemy is going to be. Like for example, I notice my opponent's moving right. He's moving left. He moves right now. So I'm going to shoot right, left, right, right. He's going to now left, right, left, 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 up, right, up. I don't miss those shots, but like you get the point, right? You need to, you get the point. I don't need to explain it any further. All right, tip number two. Whenever you start aiming at someone, mentally flip that switch in your head and tell yourself it's time to aim. And for me, okay, so I like to compare this a lot to like 
when I'm practicing my strokes in tennis, right? Whenever I want to practice my forehand, I'm not just swinging my racket around. You know, when it when it's time to hit the ball, I'm actively thinking about my form, where I'm making contact with the ball, where the ball is striking. Is it is it at the center of my racket? You know, how 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 quickly am I swinging? Am, am I swinging at it too late, too early? You know, I'm actively thinking about my form and my swing. And that's the same mindset you should have when you're trying to improve your aim as well. Just flip that switch. And to go back to the tennis analogy, practicing your aim without thinking about what it's like to actually aim at someone is like swinging your racket without visualizing hitting the ball. You're just swinging your fucking racket, you know? You're not actively thinking about how you're actually tracking an opponent or how you're flicking to an opponent. You're just moving your fucking mouse around and you're not going to improve if you're not thinking about actually aiming at someone. Okay, to be completely honest, improving your aim is going to take a lot of time and dedication, alright? You're not going to magically improve your aim over the course of two days by following this random tips and tricks video you found. You need to practice and get to the point where you're, like, you're just super comfortable moving your mouse around. And as cheesy as it sounds, it really should feel like your mouse is just an extension of your body. Like, okay, so like, for example, uh, if I were to close my eyes and pretend there was a dude behind me, I'd probably be able to flick my mouse pretty accurately to that enemy directly behind me with my eyes closed because like I, I'm so comfortable with how I need to move my mouse that it's just it's, it's an extension of my body that's what it is. Anyways, uh, hopefully this video helped give you a deeper insight on what you should be thinking about when improving your aim. I know a lot of the topics I went over in this video are pretty uh, okay you know fucking shit dude I know that I know that dude but I mean like that's really what it is right like uh a lot of these topics are just like it's so obvious what you should be thinking about that I feel like a lot of people kind of forget to think about it but it's it's what you got to focus on if you want to improve so just remember to keep these mental notes in your head whenever you're trying to practice your aim but yeah thanks for watching this video guys uh, hopefully it helped you out leave a like if you want to see more videos like this and comment what you think the next video should be on alrighty peace out I'll see you in the next one Oh,